Welcome to Alaska's Real Deal. I'm your host, Molly McCarthy Kunfer with the Alaska Department of Fish and Game. In this series, we'll be featuring the fishing opportunities within some of Alaska's state parks. In order to get the Real Deal this summer, be sure to purchase your Alaska Sport Fishing License and your Alaska State Parks Pass for a summer of fun. Today we're here at Bird Creek, located just south of Anchorage. We're going to hear from Alaska State Park Ranger Mario and Alaska Sport Fish Biologist Brittany and learn all about how to best fish and enjoy the Bird Creek area. So we're at Bird Creek. This is a tidal affected stream that comes down from Bird Valley. Excellent fishing opportunities starting in mid-July. When they get here, they're going to find a couple different parking areas, either north or south of the creek large parking area to the north and then a smaller overflow parking area to the south. There's latrines on both sides in both parking areas. We do supply a dumpster for trash. If you see trash out here by the water and on the bank, please pick it up. Don't throw your fish waste in the dumpster. Be respectful of the wildlife. You'll often run into both black and brown bears here in the area and uh, don't give them your fish. Camping opportunities right here in the area for those that want to stay overnight and catch the tides at the Bird Overflow, which is just to the south of the creek here, yeah. and then also down at Bird Creek Campground. Bird Valley is an interesting area. There is a lot of hiking if you wanted to go up Penguin Ridge behind us here or back into Bird Valley. There's a spider web of trails back in there. Uh, it's open to ATVs during the summer months and snow machines in the winter time. So it's a good little out of the way spot for folks that like to do some motorized access as well. Uh, we also tie in right here to the uh, Indian to Girdwood Trail, the bicycle trail that runs from the Indian ball field area all the way down to Girdwood. So it's a good jumping off point for that as well. So Bird Creek opens to salmon fishing, uh, except for king salmon on July 14th. The anglers are out today targeting coho uh, and our uh, pink and chum salmon. Anglers typically come down and fish here before and after the high tide. Fish will move in with the high tide. So every May, the Alaska Department of Fish and Game stocks Bird Creek with coho salmon smolt for this fishing opportunity. Anglers come out with spinning gear. They use a variety of spinners, spoons, pixies. Anglers also like to fish with bait under a bobber. Slip bobber is a really good option out here. You can fish above and below the highway bridge. It is open for fishing from the mouth all the way up to approximately 500 yards from the mouth. We do have a marker located there. There are some private property ownership in the area, so please be aware of the signs that are out and respect those. As you can see behind me, the tide's pretty high right now. The tide has come in today. Keeping an eye on what the tide is doing is really important. Wherever you're fishing in the creek, whether it's a low tide and the tide's coming in or further upstream, that you just keep a close eye on things and make sure you're able to get out safely. When the tide is out and it's low, it's a really slick mud out here. I do recommend wearing your, uh, your rubber boots. Uh, waders are a good option too, or some rain gear just to keep you from getting the mud all over you or the kids. So Bird Creek is known for having some visitors such as bears, so be sure to keep that in mind and keep your fish nearby when you do catch them and your belongings as well. Make sure to check your regulation booklet before going fishing at Bird Creek and have a great time out there. Thanks for tuning in for this week's episode of Alaska's Real Deal. Next time you're looking for a salmon fishing spot close to Anchorage, Bird Creek might be a great option for you. Stay tuned on our YouTube channel for more episodes.